A simple example. And this lesson will create a simple real-life script example using the information learned in the previous screen demonstration lesson. We'll be building a word game that demonstrates various screen operations and methods. This script will showcase how to apply the concepts covered earlier in a practical scenario. We'll be doing the following. Getting a word input from the user, finding the length of the word, reversing the word, creating a new word by repeating the first character and concatenating the original word with the suffix. We'll use the input functions function to get a word from the user. We'll also use the len function to find the length of the word. We'll be using string slicing with the negative step size to reverse the word. We'll create a new word by repeating the first character of the original word using the string repetition with the asterisk operator. Concatenation will be demonstrated by joining the original word with the suffix using the plus operator. Throughout the script we'll be using formatted string literals, also known as f-strings, to embed expressions inside string literals. This allows us to easily include variable values within the output strings. So after completing the main tasks, there will be an additional exercise for you to practice further. You'll be asked to extend the script by converting the word to uppercase using the upper method and replacing a character in the word using the replace method. So in this following demo lesson, we'll explore more advanced string manipulation techniques and dive into solving real-world problems using strings. And we'll be covering the topics such as string formatting, string splitting and joining, and learn how to handle common string-related tasks efficiently. In this video, we'll take a look at a simple real-life script example using only the informa information from previous screen lesson. So I'll go to Project, right-click Files, select Python file, name it 5.strings example, we'll add it to Git, and that'll be Word Game Script. First, we'll get the word from a user. Let's comment it out. Get a word from the user. We'll add word variable. And if we want to get something from the user, we can use input method. So we'll type input, input, and we'll name this input with a string. Again, we'll need the user enter the word. Or better to say, a word, any word. And of course, we, we need not input, but input. Next, we'll find the length of the word. And we'll add a variable word length, which will be using len method for the word variable. And we want to print it out. So we'll type print. We'll, a we'll add f double quotes, the word, and now in single quotes, and in curly braces, word variable has, has. Now we'll add another variable in curly braces, which is word length, and the word characters. Let's run this code, and I'll explain this line after running it. So I'll push run, Enter a word, for instance, Alice. And we'll get the result, the word Alice has five characters. So let's break down this line. This line uses a formatted string literal, also known as an f-string. We'll be talking about it later, but now, just for this example, we need to use it. f-string is a way to embed expressions inside string literal literals in Python. And here the prefix f, this one before the string, indicates that it is an f string. So this part of this line of this string is a regular string literal. The single quotes around word variable are used to include the value of the 
word variable inside the string without any formatting. And if we take a look at the output part of this line, we'll see that Alice in a single, is in single quotes. And this is the variable word. So what we've input in the first line is now output for the second line. And in this part we use another variable which is word length, where we are using LAN method here. Now let's continue our script and we can reverse the word. We'll add another variable which is reversed word and we need single underline here. Now we'll use word variable here and string slicing. We'll skip the first one, we'll skip the second one, which is start and end, and we'll add minus one to the slice notation of how to extract elements from the string. So the first slice notation start index is omitted, the second colon for the second slice notation stop index is omitted, and this minus one after the second column represents the step size. And a negative step size means that the slicing should happen in reverse order. And we'll add a line to print. We'll also use f string here, add double quotes, and the text, the reversed word is colon, and we'll use in curly braces the reversed word variable. Now let's run this script. We'll enter the a word Alice, hit enter, and get two results. The word Alice has five characters, and the reversed word is this one. Now let's add another line here where we'll be creating a new word by repeating the first character. Now we need to find out what is the first character. So we'll add a variable first character, which is our word variable, and we'll slice the first character out. So we'll refer to the, sorry, index the first character out. So we'll refer to the index number zero, and after it we'll add new word variable, which is First character, it doesn't like typo in character word. Okay, let's let's make it shorter. First char and new word equals first char. Now we'll use repetition with asterisk and let's add spaces here and let's use word length variable. Again, we'll print this out. We'll use f string here and add the text a new word created by repeating the first character. And we'll use in curly braces new word variable. Let me minimize this project files and we'll run the file again. Alice. And here is a new word created by repeating the first character. So word length is five characters and the first character of Alice is uppercase A. I'll minimize it as well and we'll add another task for this script. We'll concatenate the original word with a suffix. And seems like I need to correct this word, concatenate. So the code for it is we need a new variable which is suffix and it equals ish for example. Now we'll add another variable which is word with suffix and it equals to word plus suffix. And let's print it out. Oops, we'll use f string again. The word with the suffix colon and there is we'll use in curly braces First the suffix variable, colon, and another variable is, and yes, we've got it underlined because these single quotes we need to use in the before and after curly braces. 
And here we'll use word with suffix. And these double quotes we'll need to put here. Now, a small task for you. Uh, as a continuation for this script, you could add two more parts for the script where you'll convert the word to uppercase and another one is to replace a character in the word. For the first uh, task in this exercise, you'll need to use upper method. And for the second task in this exercise, you'll need to use replace method to complete this task. So, for instance, you could replace L character with X character in this screen. 